Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Fresh and Fit getting demonetized. So, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. I am so glad that they are demonetized. I made a video a few months back saying that red pill content needs to be banned. And once again, like with yesterday, I felt vindicated with Asian Doll leaving Self Made Entertainment. I feel vindicated with Fresh and Fit getting demonetized. Thank you, YouTube, because they need to be demonetized. I have been saying this shit. I've been talking about red pill content and why it needs to stop. It needs to stop mainly because no other race of women get attacked like black women online. It is fun and enjoyable and like a kink for people to attack black women and that needs to like not be allowed but it just proves how weak our community is the fact that our community doesn't stand up and fucking riot and boycott and really raise hell behind it our community should be standing up, but our community is too busy partaking in the fuckery and hyping it up and accepting it, approving it, like, again, engaging in it. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. So that is the main issue with it. Um, and then these people are getting rewarded. Like, a lot of this hate speech stuff needs to stop. Because there's a lot of crazy hate stuff going on on YouTube. And again, here's the real tea. The real tea is YouTube banned a lot of people who were spreading truther or conspiracy content. Like a lot of those people aren't even on YouTube anymore. YouTube demonetized them. YouTube banned them. YouTube shadow banned them. But meanwhile, YouTube participating in the fuckery by pushing people who talk shit about black women that's the real fucking tea <clears throat> and that's why these guys you know did what they did and act how they act and that's a damn shame like them being rewarded and them um by youtube and then them being rewarded within the community like i've been saying people shouldn't have been up on that damn platform like the main way to the, the community should have been shitting on them. The main way to get rid of a bitch is to ignore them. Don't give them no clout. Don't give them no fame. Don't give them no views. Like, nothing. Brittany Renner went up there and she did her thing, but she shouldn't have had her ass up there. Asian Doll shouldn't have had her ass up there. Like, a lot of people, all the girls who go to a crazy ass up there, no fucking better. They the main ones who know that they dead ass wrong. A bitter ass nigga is gonna be a bitter ass nigga. Like that's that's just facts. But as a woman, like the bad bitches who the bitches who call themselves bad bitches who go up there and or baddies and go up there and sit up there with them niggas. Like I don't care how much money they paying you, your ass dead ass wrong. Women should not be <laughs> giving them no energy. Period. Because the T is, them hating ass niggas want to sit up there and judge those same baddies that they invite, but need them for clout and need them for their energy and need them, you know, to attract the other bitter ass niggas. Isn't that the irony? Isn't that the irony of it all? Like, that shit needs to stop. Now, um, I'm going to do another video kind of going into the deeper agenda with this because there is a deeper agenda with this. But I'm going to just leave y'all with this right now. Like something fresh and fun. That I'm glad that they stale and sour asses are demonetized. They need to be demonetized. They need to stop pushing negative shit about black women. And YouTube needs to stop bigging that up. There's no reason why that shit is, you know, like pushed into the algorithm. That shit is disgusting and very low brow. All these damn people, and they have some fucking nerve to be 
talking shit about black women when black women are responsible for creating all the preferences that you claim you like and black women is responsible for creating one of the damn black guys on the show and the other one is middle eastern pretending to be black or whatever some type of racial identities fugazi uh quasimodo bullshit like no I'm not even doing the fuckery with these two. It's some type of Jedi mind trick that the other one's playing with that was goddamn race. Okay? It's not two black dudes sitting up there. And this one of them, again, who's not even really black, running his mouth. They got pictures of him cozying up to men in the past. And the other one, I think he's Haitian. The other one, he's just sitting up there going along for the ride for a check. That's pathetic. I hope they save their goddamn money. They need to take their money, go back to school, get real fucking jobs. And who would want to hire them after all of this mess? Their faces are everywhere. They're famous for being complete assholes. Like, the best thing that they can do is, you know, take their fucking little bit of money that they got left over after renting and leasing and buying all of that bullshit... They should take their goddamn money and open a fucking daiquiri shop, leave your face off of it, and just move on with their damn life. They need to open them a little, you know, little neighborhood business and just move on. Shit, open a McDonald's or something. That's just, look at me, giving y'all free game. Like they that's what they need to be doing. Because who the fuck would want any of them niggas to be a plumber? Who would want any of them niggas to be they fucking <laughs> financial analyst like what the fuck no i wouldn't want to see them fools in a white collar or a blue collar job fuck them they fucking immature as fuck and they bitter as fuck and they corny as fuck because they don't want to really put their fucking half brains together and make content about real shit there's a lot of people who really get out here every day and hustle and make excellent content that YouTube don't fucking push but you get up here and you do the fucking monkey dance for a banana and YouTube will fucking you know buy Shakita for you the whole fucking company they'll they'll you'll have bananas for days if you fucking do the monkey dance and it's sad it's sad like that's that's the real issue that's why a lot of people do want off youtube that's why youtube is in real fight with tiktok especially tiktok is moving over to longer form content like youtube y'all gotta clean up this platform because like tiktok got a lot of stuff going on on a platform it's not an american platform Okay, so it's like you're gonna sit here and let all this debauchery going on go on in this company and they already exposed that TikTok in China and TikTok in the in the origin country is a lot different than it is what we get. Cause they know <laughs> cause they know Americans love that whole shit. You know, they see the shit that we promote in our media and they don't want that shit for their own people, but they know how to draw Americans in. And that's a goddamn shame. And YouTube is one of the leading media American companies where, where content creators can upload. It's one of the best platforms for entry level and new content creators like YouTube, especially just with the way America is changing, like censorship is changing. Y'all got to clean up this damn platform because it's a lot of foolery that is allowed to be popular here and a lot of it is because it's unfortunately giving people what they want it's a lot of ignorant and damn crazy ass foolish ass people out here like you know it's shit most conspiracy people no because i don't know of any real conspiracy person this you know and the, and the ones who are really big and speaking about the truth of the industry the ones who are really major are controlled opposition People like Alex Jones, I think Joe Rogan to an extent. Like, yeah, like fucking David Ike. So by Fresh and Fit, like y'all asses are tragic. Y'all asses been needing to get the fuck off of YouTube. I'm glad y'all are demonetized. So hopefully no money coming in 
gives you no reason to continue to partake in the fuckery. That's a good way to make a bitch pack it up is to stop the check. Okay, so let's talk in the comments, y'all. How do y'all feel about this? And I'll talk to y'all the next one. Bye.